Hey guys, this is Mark here from PixelFiendTech.com and today I'm going to be showing you some tips to save a battery on iOS 7. Now ever since iOS 7 has been released I've heard tons of people complaining about the battery life and how basically it is terrible. Um, now personally in my experience it really has not been that bad but anyway I'm just going to give you a few tips to um, save battery life. So in my opinion the first tip here is definitely the best one and that is your brightness. So if you swipe up into control center you can see your brightness here and having it on full brightness all the time is definitely going to be um, the biggest killer of battery life. So what I would do would just put it down to the darkest that basically you can bear. So if you are fine with it on that kind of brightness, um, personally I would like mine about here. Um, but certainly turning down that brightness will definitely increase your battery life. Next is background app refresh. Now this is basically where in the background, um, so for example now on my phone, apps in the background will be updating um, like things like Facebook and stuff. They will be refreshing feeds and stuff even when I'm not on the app. So if I go into settings and go back to general, then go to background app refresh so just here then you can see I can either turn them all off or I can turn off the individual ones so for example some of these apps I really don't care about so um, I don't want them to be updating in the background so I would turn those off so for example possibly the stocks app, the running app, red laser and things like that Number three is parallax. So to t basically, if you do not know what parallax is, I will just zoom in on my phone here um, and bring it up a bit. And you should be able to see here that if you look at where the stars are in the background, when I move it, it looks like the apps are in a 3D space. And it's really quite cool. But generally, when you're using your phone, you will not notice this feature. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go to Settings, General, Accessibility, scroll down to Reduce Motion, and here you will see it says Reduce the motion of user interface including parallax effect of icons and alerts, and simply turn that on and that will get rid of all that stuff. Next up we have AirDrop, so automatically every time um, that you update to iOS 7 it will turn AirDrop on. So if you don't know basically AirDrop it's basically Bluetooth so you can send files between iPhones by using that but you obviously don't want that on all the time because you're not going to be sending files 24-7. So what you're simply going to want to do is bring up Control Center, tap on AirDrop, turn it off and then tap on the Bluetooth icon and that will certainly save you a lot of batteries. Now, another way to close off battery and kind of free up your RAM is to double tap and go into the multitasking menu and then swipe up with all these apps which will close them off in the background. So just keep on doing this. You can do it more than one at once if you'd like. And now that should also save me a lot of battery life. Next up, I'm going to go to automatic app updates. Now for me this is a handy feature but um, well just I will quickly explain it first basically it will up automatically update your app so you don't have to go into the app store and update them manually. Now this as I said is a handy feature for me but if you have low battery you do not want to suddenly have all your apps updating at once so if you are on low battery I would recommend turning that feature off. Next up we have locations. Now obviously you may want location settings on some of your apps but it is used in a lot more than you think. So if you go into privacy and then location services and then you can turn it off for each individual app but what I'm going to show you is down in system services. Now this basically shows you all the system services that are used. So basically, for example, things like Popular Near Me will basically in the App Store recommend apps for you to do with your location. So you may not want that. 
Also, things like location-based iAds. Now, if you don't know what iAds are, it's basically sometimes in free apps you'll have a little banner along the bottom of the screen that has what is called an iAd, basically one of Apple's adverts to make the app developers money. So, some of these are lo uh, location kind of uh, round. They they are location-based, so they might have adverts for things in your area. Generally. That is not an important thing for you, they are just adverts, so I would turn that off, and that will stop tracking your location. So you can turn off things like that if you want. Next up is Spotlight Search. Now, I know um, this is certainly a hard one to think of why this drains your battery, but basically when you type in something in Spotlight Search, it will basically... Um, go through all the files on your phone. Now it is constantly doing this even when you're not using it. It's searching all the new files on your phone and putting it into its database. Okay so what you're going to want to do is go to settings, general and then spotlight search and basically you can take away all the things that you're not really going to be searching for. So for example I don't search my voice memos, I don't search for reminders, um, I generally don't search for things like mail, audiobooks, podcasts, things like that. So you can turn all those off and that will stop your iPhone for searching through your phone for those special features. So if you go through all these steps on your iPhone, you, su you should see a drastic increase in your battery life. I really hope this video did help you, if it did please give it a like, a share and why not subscribe to my channel for more content. If you have any questions or you want to ask me something just leave a comment or email me at the address in the description. Once again thank you very much for watching, see you.